What PAVAR does is it uses infrared temperature measurements to look at the thermal uniformity of asphalt mixtures as they're placed during construction. The initial research showed that there was a relationship between thermal segregation and the life of, of a pavement. What happens is as little as maybe 18 months to three years later, these segregated areas will fail and essentially result in the asphalt mixture construction that was supposed to last at least seven years, only lasting two to three. We knew there was the relationship between thermal segregation and pavement performance. And we measured that with a temperature gun. We did a thermal profile where we go out and measure temperatures on the pavement with a, with a temperature gun. Once thermal cameras became more affordable, we're able to see much clearer those hot spots and cold spots. The idea became to take thermal camera and a series of them, mount that system on a paver and tie that to GPS coordinates, location device, do all this in real time with a software program. That's kind of how the first initial uh, PAVE IR system was developed. We felt like the research outcomes demonstrated the technical importance of thermal segregation, so TxDOT initiated implementation. Some of the benefits that we see out of it is that it's a great tool to identify flaws in the paving process. There's a lot of things that can lead to thermal segregation. This PAVE IR system helps identify those things and it helps contractors to kind of pinpoint where their weaknesses are in their paving process and to be able to help remedy those things. So in other words, it tracks every time the paver stops, when it starts, it tracks all those temperatures, like if there's end of load segregation, those are things that are common problems. This tool has grown wings, so to speak. There's actually now a national AASHTO provisional standard for automated thermal profiling that honestly is almost a direct result catapulting off of TxDOT's work. This replaces two technicians, this system, because it does it automatically. That is a huge, not only a savings, but it's safer that the technicians don't have to be in that work zone between the paver and the roller operators.